You have already killed people. Blood is on your hands. How can you live with the guilt? Hey, credos. Welcome to part two of claims that are driving me crazy during COVID. This is going to be short. The national discussion has become this. How dare you breathe freely? Your breathing is killing other people. Or at least it could. Or we don't know enough for sure, but it might. So what's the big freaking deal about wearing a mask when you could save lives? Because as the brilliant, venerable Andrew Cuomo said, we must, quote, save lives, period, whatever the cost, end quote. Whatever the cost, because I'm sure Cuomo himself lives up to that standard. Never mind that you can't even sleep with a sheet on your head. It's a minor thing to save a life. I'd like to introduce an undisputed bit of factual info that seems to be unknown to the vast majority of keyboard warriors. This is groundbreaking, so get ready. If you travel by any means, if you work at a job or own a company, if you eat, whether at home or out, if you engage in any sort of recreation, move, talk, sing, breathe, or buy any products or services, you put other humans at risk of death. Death. There is a long supply chain on everything you use and buy in which people engage in behavior that is risky. Is this really new information to everyone? Today, a woman said to me that she could not live with the guilt of passing on a virus that caused a death. I don't know how she survived thus far, because if you're an adult, statistically, you have absolutely been in the path of a pathogen that has resulted in someone's death. My father-in-law was killed when his car was broadsided by a semi-truck. Have you ever purchased a product shipped in a semi-truck? Yes, you have, and you are complicit in death. Death. Last week, I chanced upon a vlog by a YouTuber exponentially more popular than I am. She's generally very entertaining and fun to watch, but this time she went on an unprovoked corona rant, shaming all those people who dare cross the thresholds of their humble abodes. Stay home, stay home, wear a mask, wear a mask. And she berated anyone who would go to a restaurant in particular during the pandemic. And then the sponsor of her video appeared. And it was, not making this up, Hello Fresh. If you don't know, Hello Fresh is a meal kit delivery service, which as an aside, I think is a great business idea. And hey, you can sponsor me Hello Fresh. Anyway, she legitimately got right up in the camera to say this. They've got tasty seasonal step-by-step -step recipes with pre-measured ingredients for your home cooking pleasure. For your home cooking pleasure. Home. That was pleasurable, wasn't it? But here's the rub, and I'm not talking about the nice spicy coating for your meat rub either. This woman who will remain anonymous had an on lazy tizzy about people going to restaurants to eat food while promoting a product that requires a long chain of people to grow, harvest, prepare, measure, package, and ship and transport her food to her door in a box. So it's more convenient. So I just wanna know how many people's lives were put at risk for her to get this precious box so she could virtue signal to you about how home she is. This is the path our panicked reasoning is taken. It doesn't end well, my friend. Let's stop the madness. There's the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have possibly caused someone else to die by breathing. Please subscribe and ring that notification bell to see if I keep ranting endlessly or I can get on to better things. Come on over to Instagram and follow Midlife Credo because Insta is way cooler than I am. And you want to be on Insta with the cool people. Join the Midlife Tribe on Facebook too where we are thriving midlife without the crisis. Now you go outside and breathe some nice fresh air.